Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how to fill out a 1099 NEC form. We are in TurboTax and it is a fantastic piece of software. Handle all your taxes quickly and easily. So let's get straight in. The first thing you want to do is log into the TurboTax account and you want to go over to the right hand side to the search bar and over here you are going to type in 1099 NEC. Now, what will happen is it'll ask you to, uh, if you want to jump straight to that section, we are now sort of in that section now. So you see, um, it is the self-employment income and expenses and we're going to tap on review because we started doing it and um, we just went and uh, we jumped out of there but basically an NEC um, is a new form to report your non-employee compensation that is um, a pay for independent contractor jobs it also sometimes refers to as um, self-employment incomes um, examples of this can include like freelance work um, driving for DoorDash or even Uber and then also something that you should know is that this was previously um, filled in on the 1099 MISC form and that was at um, box 7 so basically how you're going to fill this in is you go in here to wages and income and you'll go through here entering all the information appropriate to your individual situation so uh, does how does your writing work fit into the big picture so if it's a business if it's something else if it's a side hustle if it's a main source of income um, we want to make sure that you know we're being honest about what we're doing here and then as you go through here you'll be able to do all of uh, the steps step by step and um, TurboTax will actually tell you if you should be applying for the NEC form. Alternatively, if you're not using TurboTax, you can just jump into the um, uh, irs.gov website and you can look for the 1099 NEC form on the right hand side and you'll get a bunch of search results. And over here it says um, form 1099 NEC non employee compensation. And here you will actually find the 1099 NEC form, which you can uh, fill in if you are doing your tax on your own and you can mail it back to irs.gov you'll be able to then have that submitted for your tax returns if this was helpful drop us a like we'll see you next time cheers